One of the questions we often get is about wraps, what sizes to get, what to look for, and even where to source them. We're going to be discussing this in today's episode. If we haven't met, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, and I am passionate about helping newborn photographers just like you create the business, art, and lives of their dreams. So come on with me, we are going to be talking about wraps today, and let's get started. So when it comes to looking for wraps, there are definitely some considerations that you're going to want to take into. I have about six or seven that we're going to run through today. The first thing we're talking about is color. Now color is something that is really important to me in my work. A lot of my color, uh, for years I was really focusing on mainly just whites, creams, neutrals, so I tended to really stick to those colors. Recently I've kind of branched into a little bit more of deeper greens, burgundies, and yellows. So really being mindful when you are shopping to make sure that you have things that are going to be coordinating together when you're looking for wraps. The next consideration is the size of it. You're going to be wanting to look for wraps that happen to be about 15 inches to 2 feet wide and about 60 inches long. When you, when you work with smaller wraps than that, you run into maybe not being able to wrap the entire baby. Or if they're too big, you end up with just excess material and that ends up being a little bit frustrating or you need to just slice it off. So the next consideration would be stretchability. When I'm working with my newborns, I love wraps that happen to be stretchy. The one I have here is more of a jersey knit here, and it stretches both ways. When you're looking for your wraps, I would suggest definitely looking for wraps, especially your base layer of a wrap if you're going to be wrapping more than one layer, looking for something that has that give because babies really like to move and wrapping them in something that's a little bit tighter isn't, isn't gen gentle to them. You want to be able to have them have that flexibility and the ability to move so they're comfortable too. I love working with texture. I think texture is so important when it comes to our images because it creates depth and dimension just by having so many textures involved. When I am shopping for my materials for my wraps, I love looking at scarves and I find that knit ones really have some amazing, amazing textures to them. I love lace, pieces of lace that I can use as wraps as well. This is actually um, just a piece of of lace fabric that was cut and I use it as a wrap. And cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is one of my favorite wraps. It has so much give um, and I find that you can have so many different uses for them. You can use them as layers and they are beautiful. The texture on them is just gorgeous. So these would be the things that I look for when it comes to texture. Now one thing to be mindful when it comes to texture is just working with the material and making sure that there's not little pills or little bits of fabric that come off that can be ingested by the baby or get stuck to their fingers and hands. And another thing I like to look for is the material. I love looking for patterns. I'm super into floral right now and I love looking for different scarves that have different floral patterns that I can use in my work. I love going to Fabricland and looking there just to see what they've got. Now I find not all scarves, scarves have a lot of stretchability. So typically what I will do is I will use a stretchy wrap below on my first layer and then do a secondary wrap with this wrap on top so it's not just holding the baby in, it's more of the decorative layer. So when it comes to sourcing your wraps, there are so many different places that you can look for. I know when I was first starting out, I didn't have a huge budget and I know that shopping for vendors, they do seem a little expensive. These vendors absolutely know what they're doing. They have, they've sourced the materials, they know the sizing, so I definitely think it's a great way to go. But if you're wanting to do it your own way and, and you're wanting to maybe do more of a DIY, you can head to your local fabric store and just look through their different knit materials, um, just different fabrics with different textures, and you can also go to accessory stores. Accessory stores with scarves are really a wonderful place to source out some really inexpensive and really funky and unique wraps that you can use in your work. If you haven't already, make sure you stay on this page and check out a few simple wraps that I can do that will get you big results. Now, if you have not already, make sure you download our newborn posing inspiration guide. It is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next episode.